Odds can work in one's favor or against one. On today's episode, we'll begin meeting our contestants and checking out their capabilities and dreams for their street food businesses. Street Foods Naija is brought to you by Food Bay TV, powered by Devon Kings, and refreshed by Peak Yogurt. Last week, we unveiled our season's contestants, and today, we're going to be getting to know them a little more personally. What drives them? What pushes them to go through the laborious task of being a food premier? Judges, are you as excited as I am? Most oh, definitely really sure. Fantastic. This is the first elimination stage. Still to come. You know, I'm so happy. I know you're smiling. I'm so happy. I, I love it. I don't know what chef it is. Beef is with Asun. The real Asun has to be the goat, the female goat species. Our contestants have been tasked to create a meal that interprets their vision and dream for their street food business. It's now time to meet our contestants. First up is Lagos with Matthias of Chop Mata. My name is Matthias. My street food business is called Chop Mata. Make a yarn new. If you never chop Mata, you never chop better. Here, we make stir fry spaghetti and deep fried foods, which we serve with different kind of sauce. The vision for Chop Mata is to be the leading West African food business brand, showcasing different African food in fresh, tasty, and appealing form. For my meat meat dish, I will be making white abuja yam, fresh plantain with peppered pomo sauce made from authentic Ijebu pomo and original bonga fish. What do you think of Matthias? I'm actually blown away by him. Chuck Mata was very impressive. He had something extra that I think really got me going. That was this very industrious approach that he seemed to have going for him. <laughs> All right guys, so let's take a look at the next video. Next is Ibadan with Idris Amodu of Alapata Express. I am Idris Amodu of Alapata Express. I'm a farmer, a butcher, and a pit master. Today on the Meet Me Dish, I'll be cooking our meatilicious, vegilicious asun, which is a goat roast steaming vegetable and spices. Now I present to you my meat meat dish, our meat delicious and vegilicious asun. Wow. Wow. Ah, ah. Wow. Wow. You, you're smiling? I know you're smiling. Know, I'm so happy. I know you're smiling. I'm so happy. I know Look wow. at his presentation. his presentation. Look at that. I loved his presentation. Like, I think that was very clear. It was very beautiful. It was very appealing. I burned for it. Can the common man afford his food but looking at that that will cost about two to two five uh, no. yes because no, no, no. goat is expensive i don't know what chef it is beef is with us and <laughs> being too expensive i think chef fete needs to <laughs> he needs to educate us more on what he means he's doing a boneless roasted goat you just don't use any kind of goat <laughs> Native female goats. It's expensive. But you can get chicken for two thousand, but goats you, from but you seventeen find upwards. Everywhere now. Yes, but you do you know? Asun. Do you know what kind of asun is that asun? Do you, do you know the mixture goat? of the, the asun? We don't know what kind of goat he's using, but you find asun everywhere, and people are buying asun on the street. People mix. They mix beef and goats. Anybody can mix anything and call it asun. But the real asun has to be the goat, the female goat species. Roasted first before stir fried. Oh. 
next from FCT Abuja is Chef Prince. My vision for my street food business is a Chef Prince franchise. It's all major neighborhoods of cities in Nigeria where anyone of any nationality will stop by it knowing that they will get nothing but the absolute best. To properly introduce to the kinds of things I do, I would be making a plate of Chinese special rice to represent the universal appeal with foreign presence that you can obtain at my cafe. Okay. Now, your face does not really look impressed. <laughs> I'm smiling. I think I want to go back and watch Prince's entry video because I don't know how he slipped under the radar for all of us and entered this final 13. Personally, you know, I, I thought Prince was a joker. Chinese fried rice is the last thing I would do because it's so boring. All right, Chef Pete, what do you think? I was just imagining if he had done it on the griddle, on the streets. Has his rice, his um, condiments, his chicken, and just mix everything, you know, like the Chinese would do it. Yes, I like his appeal, but he's too, too bougie. And last, but by no means the least, from Calabar is Oga John Uga from Oga's Kitchen. My name is Oga John Uga. I'm the CEO of Oga's Kitchen. For my meat meat dish, I'm going to be preparing stirred fried noodles and potato fritters with shredded chicken. I'll be serving one plate of noodles with potato fritters and the other plate with egg. With this, you're getting your balanced diet, carbohydrates, proteins and your vitamins. What else do you need, bro? This is how we serve our, deal, our meals at August Kitchen. You know, I don't know what to say about Calabar guy. It started so well. There was so much potential. He was doing that sweet potato fritter. And then everything just... Two seconds, everything burst. Everything just got I didn't, I didn't know what was going on. I mean, he could very easily have just been, you know, the best participant of the day. You know, but he just messed everything up. We have just met four contestants through their dishes. And as of now, the voting portals will be declared open. So if you have a contestant that you'd like to see advance to the next stage, why don't you head on over to www.foodbay.tv to cast and make your vote count. Join us next week as we continue to meet the contestants through their dishes. Don't forget to vote for your favorite contestants too. To vote, head on over to www.foodbay.tv. Click on Street Foods Ninja Season 2 and vote for your favorite contestants from their profile. Street Foods Ninja is brought to you by Food Bay TV, powered by Devon Kings and refreshed by Peak Yogurt.